I'm Shane Floyd. I'm from Hills, Minnesota, and I was given the opportunity to run the the VSN with the air knife on the machine, and I ran it throughout the whole year. I did a lot of Y drops, did a lot of Y drop and uh, fungicide, and then now did cover crop with it, and probably ran 15,000 acres with the air knife on with the VSN, and it really worked well. And had a few software updates, I guess, that we had to work through, but it performed really well once when it was working the way it was supposed to. And the last couple updates, I have zero issues with it. It's performed flawlessly, I guess. So, and then um, we also installed the, the software where you're able to use multi-line. Yes, yeah. So, how did you that, use that? In beans, uh, uh, mostly in beans. I didn't really use it much in corn, but the beans for... When I sprayed my posts and beans, I had my line already, or, or a tract where I sprayed doing the post. So I come back and beans doing fungicide, and I just up, or loaded that line where I previously drove, and it just fouled that right where I went before when I was using the camera. So it was already on the row, and it just, it really worked well. It, very little crop was run over. And so you were able to use it not only in fungicide, but also in soybeans in the exact same yes, fields. Yes, that, that was in the, doing fungicides on the soybeans when I was running it. Yes, in the exact same field. There. So, because of, yeah, your, the VSN doesn't, uh, with the uh, radar system, it doesn't read soybeans. So you have to run the camera. And then once the beans get too bushy, then I run that line and it, then I just run the GPS line. It worked really well with that multi-line.